guys, welcome to the Nanly Carrots Cooking Show here on YouTube. I'm Leah and today I'll be showing you the seven kitchen tools that make vegan cooking easy. Let's get started. Number one, rice cooker. Every vegan kitchen needs a rice cooker. It speeds up your time. All you do is put in your rice, add your water, a little bit of salt if you want it, push down a little button to make it cook and voila, cooked rice in about 35 minutes if you're having your brown rice and even less for white rice. You can also cook quinoa and your lentils and chickpeas in this rice cooker. All right, number two, sandwich maker. A sandwich maker saves so much time in a vegan kitchen. If you have your sandwich maker on, once your green light's on, you're good to put your patties in there or your sausages, lay them down, leave them to cook. You don't have to add any oil whatsoever and they can just do their own thing until they're ready. Okay, number three, a V-slicer or a mandolin or a really good sharp knife. A V-slicer is simply a slicer that does the slicing for you. So you get your little litty thingamadoobly and you go like this, straight into your pan and voila, sliced things. Same with a knife. This knife is actually a skinning knife. No, I don't skin animals, but I do skin chocos. These are awesome. Get one from your local kitchen cooking shop. What are we up to? Number four, a skinny spatula. And when I say skinny, I mean skinny. These babies are so good for picking up those vegan pancakes. They can slip right under, flip them over, and then it doesn't fall apart. If you use those thick spatulas, they're just useless. Don't even try. Number five, a very strong blender. You do not have to have a Thermomix, but they are a strong blender, an Omni blend, a Blendtec, or a Vitamix will do just as well. Check around, sometimes you can even find specials. I know that Aldi a couple years back had one for only a hundred bucks, and they're just as good as a Vitamix. So check it out, a strong blender, you can make really good ice cream and nut butters and cashew mayonnaise and pretty much everything is a vegan. A lot of things are done in a blender. Okay, number six. A bread cooker. A bread cooker can be anything from small to large. A large one is wonderful if you have a big family. We have used this brand. I can't even look at the brand. This is a Panasonic. This is a good bread, bread maker. I've also used Breville's and they're also very good. You can set your timer on them and they can be ready whenever you want. They can also just make dough for you as well. You can also make dough in a Thermomix and a Vitamix. You can buy a dough kneading blade for that as well. Last one, number seven. A pressure cooker. This pressure cooker happens to be a multi-cooker, so you can do rice in here as well as pressure cooking, and I think you can do roasting as well. But a pressure cooker will save you a lot of time and money because you can buy things like dried lentils and dried chickpeas and make them yourself. We have another video where I talk about the costs of being a vegan and how much cheaper it actually is to be a vegan. Check it out, and if you get motivated, get some dried lentils and legumes and do them in a pressure cooker. Saves heaps of time. And if it's an electric pressure cooker like this one, once again, set that timer and come back when they're ready. Thanks so much guys for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed learning about all of these kitchen tools. They have saved me so much time over the years and I wanted to share that with you. Subscribe, like, share the video with a friend, check out all the other links below, grab a copy of the cookbook and we will see you next time. See ya.